Welcome to the Conscious Creative Podcast, your weekly dose of soul to soul conversation that will have you saying peace out to your nine to five to explore in your sacred calling. The topics center around conscious business and interviews with the folks who started them. We'll be exploring the art of being human and what it takes to live your life fully expressed and financially free. I'm Christina Gomes, and I went from high-paying job as a psychotherapist to leaving it all behind for my desire to travel the world, playing my original music, to becoming the CEO and solepreneur founder of FreeYourCreativity.org, where I help visionary leaders create the businesses of their wildest dreams. If you have a sacred calling, stick around. My prayer is that you become the permission slip for the collective as you hear the soul-inspiring stories that call you forth into creative action. Let's get to the soul. Wild ones, soulpreneurs, entrepreneurs, six-figure entrepreneurs in the making, let's claim it. Let's do the simple math today, get that out of the way so that we can go about taking the beautiful action steps that align with that desire of becoming an entrepreneur with six figures a year earning potential and more. What I'm going to teach you today is going to lay the foundations for your six figure year. It's one of the things I take my private clients through in the very first week of my offering. And I decided that this part of my offering was too good to not share it with you. I guess the most important thing to know for this map is if you have decided already that you love working with your clients one-to-one, or you love a group, or you would love to create a group, or if you like some combination of both. We're going to do some simple math here together. And this is going to open up the possibility that your big revenue months are not actually as far away as you think they are. (laughs) Whenever we say six figures, that's like this number that like, so I recently found out that some of my friends didn't know what that meant. So six figures means $100,000 or more. It means six numbers, six figures. You probably know that since you are our boss and you, if you're not, this isn't like something new to you. Like this isn't your first rodeo. You have put out offers before. You are creating content. You have skills of transformation. And now you want to really make your business work for you. You want to have a business that your emotional world is not at the helm of your business, but rather your simple knowing and your simple plan. And today's plan that we're going to map out together is also going to give you more space and time in your business. So I'm not going to create a plan with you that is going to add more to your plate, add more marketing to-dos, add more things to check off a to-do list. No, we are going to create a plan today that you can really see how you can start being your most creatively expressed self and make that plan happen in less time. So often business owners, new soul-led entrepreneurs and business owners that really want to start to grow their business where it makes them real money month after month and consistent, predictable money month after month, they forget this one piece of the puzzle, this one map, and they start leaning too deep into their natural gifts. So Your natural gifts have gotten you this far. You are an intuitive creator. When you get a download, you share that. You may get a download for an idea and you start uh, putting that offer together. And what I know happens to a lot of intuitive soul-led leaders is they start to get burnt out too soon only because how much output they're 
creating isn't matching how much they're receiving. This is out of alignment and this will burn people out because they're thinking too much about things that don't move their business forward or they're lost in a mind loop about something that doesn't make them money and they are getting intuitive downloads, but these downloads are sometimes distracting them from going forward with their vision of six figures in a year. So examples are like, uh, sometimes I'm like, oh, multiple streams of revenue sounds great. And you hear that term. And so I'll start like posting things on the internet to sell. And that's fine if I'm able to continue with the plan of making my signature soul aligned offer the best it can be and making, uh, having it, refining it to sell at where I said I want it to sell. So like I've seen, oh, people start selling this, they start selling that, and they're putting so much energy into these posts to sell some little things when their truest desires in the first place have always been to sell the thing that is big, that is long form, that really makes change for people. So whether you're working one-on-one, -on -one, and Jennifer says both, or you're working in a group or you de are deciding to transition from maybe you're filled up in the Zoom room with one-on-ones and you want to start transitioning into a group coaching program or a group mastermind or a group mentorship experience, this lesson today is going to help you to see how really simple and spacious this plan gets to be so that you don't feel like you will have to do more and you will be working after this live video, you'll be working smarter, not harder. And give it up for all those intelligent women out there. I know how smart you are. I know how well-trained you are. I know how you can outsmart any man uh, run circles around half the business owners that you see out there that are really making a lot of money. And the only thing that you might be missing is this plan and the stick to nature that real CEOs have. So I know you're past the point of giving up, especially Jennifer. She messages me. She's a client, past client of mine. And she's like, I'm going for it. I'll never give up. And that type of attitude is what creates successful people. Sometimes we create the desired uh, result in a month. Sometimes we create it in a year. But true successful people are not so attached to the timeline. They just run their creative energy through the plan and they keep doing that until it works for them. What I want you to know about strategy is that any strategy will work for you if you work it. And the mistake I see new soul led entrepreneurs make is they create a strategy. Maybe they've worked with a coach before and they make this strategy and it's probably misaligned because they weren't working with someone that got them. Whatever is wrong with the strategy, they will blame it on the strategy. If it's not working right away, immature entrepreneurs blame it on the strategy. And immature is not such a bad word. Some people are emotionally immature. I know I was for a long time. I would let my emotions get the best of me and ruin my relationships and ruin my business. So I studied yoga for years and years and years to gain mastery over my emotions, not to diminish them or to release every emo emotion, but to see emotions as not me and not something that can crumble me, but as something that is a beautiful part of life. So at one point I was emotionally immature and I put myself through programs where I got that emotional maturity. And a conversation I'm having with my coach is just this level of maturity in business, where we start to understand that a strategy is not out to get us. A strategy is not here to diminish us. A strategy is not here to box us in. A coach's suggestion is not here to box us in. We don't have to put our coaches on a pedestal like they're our gurus. And if they don't give us the exact right information, then we're going to fail. It's like, no. I have decided this is the level of CEO-ness that runs through my veins that it doesn't matter who I work with, I will get results because that's who I am. It doesn't matter if they're perfect, if I'm perfect, if I have a bad day, a bad week, that I will get 
the result I'm after because that's who I am. So say we relate this to health and you have decided to clear up your skin. I had acne growing up and it that was a decision I had made. I said, I want to figure this out. Is it the foodies? Is it my energy? Is it this? Is it that? And I figured it out for myself. Everything, as Marie Forleo says, is figure outable. However, if we are trying to figure it out without a proven strategy, then this is where overwhelm kicks in and starts to put pressure on our systems that is going to slow our growth, is going to take us down. I mean, maybe take us down for nothing can take us down, right, CEOs, but it will slow us down. It will slow us down. So whether you've decided that you're beyond the point of quitting or not, you don't. when you've decided that you don't want to go slow, And you don't want to be so attached to the timeline that you make it about that. So those are the kind of things that I wanted to express before we get into mapping out your strategy, but that this strategy, that this map, it's going to help you if you are not so attached to the outcome happening within the next week. And the irony of that is that it happens faster when we're going, all right, I'm just here for the plan. Because any strategy will work for you if you work it. And what I find is that 90 days is really a great amount of time to gain feedback, gain that feedback loop we need as mature CEOs in it for the long game. So mature CEOs are in it for the long game. We're in it for the sustainability. We're not looking for the $100,000 month for the bragging rights. We are looking to create systems and strategies in our business that we can flow our creative energy through that we know work so that we get to serve our clients at the highest capacity possible because we're not bogged down with, oh, now there's a new platform. I must get on that. Or over here, like trying to create all these funnels before we have an offering that works. So funnels work as a strategy because you have an offering that works. So I know this because of my years and experience in business. This is why you want to get beside someone with years and experience that you don't have. And that's it. That's my, has always been my strategy is to find the person that looks like they're living the life I want to live and find the person that looks like they're running a kind of business that I want to run at the next level that I'm looking to head. And I get as close to them as possible and I ask them spot on bang on questions. And that is a strategy. Who knew? That was an intuitive download that I got that now I implement as a strategy. And if and it, and it happens every time that when I get myself next to someone who has the mindset that I want to um, incorporate into my life, that has the kind of business with the kind of space and freedom that I'm looking for, doesn't look like they're working 60 hours a week, but looks like they're working efficiently. So strategies help you to work efficiently and efficiency helps you to not leak your energy and you need your energy to be able to serve your clients at the highest capacity and to be able to market and sell to potential new clients in a way that feels good. So if you have a lot of energy leaks, if you feel depleted, overwhelmed, or any other unsavory expression of being a human, and you would like to diminish that while increasing your earning potential, then stick with me. We're going to map out your plan. Okay. So before we get into your personalized plan, Again, let me know, even if you're watching the replay, are you a one-on-one queen, a group, or um, a combination of both? Because knowing what you want is the way to create the right strategy for you. So I want to make sure that you don't feel boxed in, that you don't feel like, oh, if I don't do this, then I'm not going to get six figures, or I don't want you to feel like there's anything that you're missing because you're not. You truly do have everything inside you to make this possible. And six figures in a year 
it can feel like a big feat, like you're climbing a mountain. And I just know that when I go on a hike with a map that I've never uh, seen before on a trail that isn't, you know, widely known that I go with someone else. (laughs) So don't worry, we're going to go together today. And I want you to think of strategy as the thing that is also fluid. So let's give an example of traveling. Now I have traveled to over 33 countries solo as a solo woman traveler. And I can tell you that I did not have a strategy when I started out. I went to Berlin with a backpack the size of me, full of shit I didn't need, that weighed me down, that hurt my back. When I got there, I my friends were like, how did you get here with this backpack? You clearly have never traveled before. And I was like, no, not really. <laughs> and they helped me go through my backpack and release things that I wasn't going to need. And as a reformed collector (laughs) of things, I lived a very Western life at one point, just like 30 lipsticks, all these eyeshadows, like so much that I didn't need. I had to let go of things just to say I had things. I had to let go of the desire for more and simplify my backpack simplify my life, simplify what I was carrying so that I could walk the world efficiently and be more aware. As a solo woman traveler, you must be aware, right? So I went there with no plan, a backpack full of shit I didn't need, and luckily I had help. So we lightened my load. That's the first thing. That's the first thing that this strategy is going to do for you. It's going to lighten your load. It's going to give you more space. I had more space in my backpack to fill with shopping things. That was fun. (laughs) That's always fun. So you'll have more space to fill with whatever it is that brings you joy. Hopefully at this stage in your maturity level and your entrepreneurship, that working with your clients is the thing that gives you joy. So whenever I have a lot of space, I think, yes, I, I can work with more clients and, and help more people and yes, live my soul's calling and not work Mondays and Fridays, which gives space for me to do anything I want. So I want that space in your business as well. And then I started to realize that if I didn't have a strategy for where I was staying the night, all these things. Like I love flow, but there was one stage in my travels where I was like, I'm just going to flow and trust these wackadoos that I was traveling with. You would not believe, okay, this was a fun experience, but (laughs) I would never be able to do that now. We rock up in Turkey with no plan, no place to stay. Oh, living in the flow. Cool. My nervous system is a wreck because I'm like, hello, where are we staying? Yellow. We find these tiny garages, <laughs> the size of, sh- of sheds, like teeny tiny. And we found these things. They were like mimic sheds for people. And we broke into these sheds and we slept all together, squished all together for like sardines. Totally a fun experience. That was in my immature travel days before I wanted fluffy pillows and blankets when I didn't care really about my health and I just shoved myself into tiny places with random strangers and made out with people on travel buses and ended up in a place that I didn't know where I was going to sleep that night. Such a fun experience for me to realize that that ain't how I want to live. (laughs) I wasted so much anxiety and so much time and so much heartbreak at the end of it because I would go off and follow somebody else's dream and somebody else's plan. And then I would end up in a place that, you know, in the long run, it all served me to be who I am today and to have this story for you. But in the moment, it felt like I wasn't following my own dream and I was back, you know, I had left my nine to five to follow my own dreams, but yet I was still following somebody else's pathway. So let's get into this strategy map. Let's map this out together. So if you are looking at, let's just make it easy for us math wise and vision wise. 
Because I, I have people who want to create 30K months come to me. I have people who want to create 5K months come to me. And I have people who want to create everything in between come to me. I know it's all possible because I've had 50K months. I've had 30K months. I've had consistent 10, 8 to 12K months for years now. And I can tell you that the consistency of 8 to 12K months is a lot more fun even than a big cash injection and then just watching it leave the bank account. So the plan is to have consistent revenue, but you can plan for consistent 30K months. That can be possible for you. 50K months, you can plan for consistent 100K months. But without the plan, it's still just an overwhelming vision. Wow, 100K months, like I can plan for that? Yes, you can. But we're going to map out 10K months because after consistent 10K months over a year, you will have six figures made in your business. So let's get into how this is possible. So say you are a one-to-one lover of that model of business. You love working one-to-one with your clients. I'm here to tell you there is no better or worse. I actually am so in love with both. I love my group programs because people think, oh, the level of intimacy isn't there in a group or like, you know, there's just a, it's just numbers game at that point, but it's truly not. There is a level of intimacy that you can cake in, bake in to your model of business where group actually allows for more of that. What I love about group is that you're not only getting uh, the coaching that you think you want, you're getting the coaching that you didn't even know you need because you're always, you're the type of person that gets value from any situation. So if you are in a room full of other people that have a question about their business that you didn't even think to ask, you're getting like 10 times the coaching than if you're working solely one-to-one. And I love one-to-one as well. And I have signed up for my mentor's VIP version so that I can receive both. And I have versions of my group where you can receive both as well. But even in the group, each of my clients gets individualized support and a lot of it. So I bake that in to my model of business because it's a value that I stand by. I stand by depth and intimacy in my program, in my signature program. I have a self-paced course available. I have a masterclass available. People can take themselves through that. But because I stand by really guiding people, my signature offer is the thing that I love to deliver. It's the thing that I love to plan to deliver several times a year. So how I do it in my business is I launch my group offer and have the option for VIP or one-to-one mentorship upgrades. Why I love this model is because then I'm launching one thing at a time. And then in between those launches, I offer my six-month mentorship, which is a little bit different. It's not different. It's just, it's not group. It's a little bit more high level and people get access to me in between the calls with Boxer. It's just like for only the most dedicated amongst my audience because I'm really giving a lot in that mentorship. I'm available and there's access to me a lot of it. (laughs) So I sell that in between my launches for my group. Isn't that simple? Simple, okay? When I have this plan in place, then I I can just feel so amazing that I'm going to be able, I know that I'm going to be coaching clients throughout the year. I know that I am going to fill up my offer. I just know it because I have the skills to do that. But if I didn't know when I was going to deliver these offers and I didn't know how many people I wanted in this offer, then that would just have me feeling overwhelmed. And when I'm overwhelmed, I'm leaking energy. I'm not working as efficiently and I'm not speaking as potently 
to my audience as I could if I had the simple plan. So I've planned, been planning for years and years. And now I help to you, you to plan based on you. So I don't tell you, there's no better or worse time to launch. There's no better or worse if you only want to offer your offer one time a year or two or three. There is no better or worse. It depends on when you want to be delivering your offer. So that's how we do this. We map out when you want to be delivering your offer. So write that down. And then we work backwards from there. But let's get back to the math about this because oftentimes it's not about this. It's about feeling like the desire we have is out of reach or only for the others. But what the others have often, the only thing they have is the plan and then the stick stick to itness attitude of that plan and then the message. All right. So we're not going to talk about messaging today because this is what I truly cover with you inside the Conscious Creative Business Immersion. Hey there, visionary leader. If you're resonating with this message, I'd like to invite you into your next level life and business. Enrollment has begun for the Conscious Creative Business Immersion. This is my signature group container to help you design an offer so delicious, so juicy, so based on your soul gifts that you are thrilled to invite your soulmate clients inside of it. I'm going to teach you how to promote this offer with a ton of heart and to sell out this offer with ease to meet your revenue goals. I would love to have you inside if you are a visionary leader who knows that they are great at what they do. You'd like to collapse the timeline on how long it takes to reach consistent income with an offer that you truly love. Go to the link in the show notes to apply for the Conscious Creative Business Immersion. I will be sitting with your application individually, and I will send an email to let you know if you've been accepted in a few days after application. Thank you for trusting me with your vision, and I can't wait to see what we co-create. So let's take it back to the math. So say you want to do one-to-one only, and you have a one-to-one mentorship that is $10,000, and you want 10K months. I don't even have to take my calculator out for that. That is one client. Now, I know a lot of my soul-led leaders, they get a little bit overwhelmed when they think about filling an offer with 100 people. I have filled my offers with hundreds of people. I've done that work. It's, it was work. It was lovely work. And I got to coach hundreds of clients. And now I coach less clients with a better price. So imagine you had one offer that was $10,000 and you wanted to create a $10,000 a month. You would only get, you only need <laughs> to call in one client. How does that lift the pressure off of your body and mind? Now, if $10,000 doesn't feel like an accessible price to you right now, I don't have, my group is not $10,000 yet, and maybe you don't feel ready to charge $10,000 for a group program. One-to-one, maybe you do. Okay. Say still you don't feel ready for a $10,000 price tag. This is what I help you with, by the way, in the Conscious Creative Business Immersion, to get to the root of the belief of why not, because one person at $10,000, I mean, that's really doable. That means that if your audience is even just 500 people, that you only need to speak the right message to one of those humans and make your revenue goal. But say 5K sounds more digestible to you. It sounds easier to wrap your mind around that price for you. 
Now, I want to remind you that this has nothing to do with how long your program is. It has nothing to do with the amount of worksheets you have. All of that doesn't matter. And you just get to believe that. <laughs> I will help you to believe that. But it just doesn't. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long your offering is. That doesn't make it more money. What makes it a valuable offering is the results, the transformations, the journey, the outcomes. We are pricing and selling based on the outcome that your potential client could possibly have after working with you. And I know that whatever is the outcome of your offer, that your people have been trying a whole bunch of shit that has drained their energy, has made them feel bogged down, has them made them feel overwhelmed. And here you come with this offer that's no brainer at 10K or 5K. So say it's 5K, that's still only two clients to meet your revenue goal of 10K. Two clients at 5K to meet your revenue goal of 10K months. And yes, that means you get to work with two this month. And then next month, you add two more. That's still only four clients. And then the following month, you add two more. That's still only six clients. So it's never a number like a hundred. When I think of trying to fill my offer with a hundred people, I get overwhelmed, not because it's not possible with the marketing foundational principles that I teach and the sales skills that I teach. It is possible for you to fill an offer with a hundred people. It will be. But what overwhelms me about working with a hundred people at the time is not trying to make that happen. It's about working with a hundred people at a time. That feels like, how am I going to do that? I would rather pour into two to six people and really give them the best of me, really be available when I said I'd be available really be clean and clear so that when something's coming up in their life, I can coach them through it. I would rather do that any day. So if that's not enough inspiration to raise your price, then I don't know what is. But if you feel wobbly around that pricing, if you feel not fully on board with that pricing, this is what we do in module one of the Conscious Creative Business Immersion. And I know that this works because my clients raise their price all the time. It's the first thing that they usually do in my program, or if they've already raised their price, then they bring their energy on board to match. And when you bring your energy on board to match, then the, your content starts to flow naturally and be that magnetic piece that has people knowing that your offer is that valuable. So your offering is that valuable if you speak about it in that way. So your offering is already that valuable. Your offering is already a 5k at the very least 2k. At the very least you can see yourself jumping from where you are to 2K, 5K, right? And some of you are ready to have that 10K offer. I just coached a beautiful uh, woman that she had her VIP at 10K and I have my VIP at 11K. So it's like there, there is someone, there is one special person that's going to want more access to you, deeper um VIV vibes and that special connection that is available at that price point. And that's going to be great. So it's all very possible. And she did call in her VIP client. So just by the way, <laughs> like my clients are calling in their clients. And what's beautiful about this is we just get to go month to month to people at a time. How simple 
And how effortless does our content get to become when we know that we are simply desiring two more people this month? That means that your discovery call strategy gets to be defined as well. And we do all this together inside the Conscious Creative Business Immersion. And you never have to ask, how do I? It's all there. The Signature Create Method is the exact answer to the how do I? How do I hold space for a sales call once I call that client into my DMs? How do I actually sell to them in feel good ways? How do I? That's module six of the Conscious Creative Business Immersion. How do I get more discovery calls booked? That's module five. How do I grow my audience? That's module four. How do I create content that touches the souls of the people I'm meant to serve, calling them in and having them knowing that my offer is the best for them? That's module one through three. So anytime that you want to Google how to, and you're getting bombarded by a bunch of stuff and you feel overwhelmed and you don't know which step to take, remember that I'm here with you to not only take you through those steps, but to really coach you when you have a belief that isn't aligned with the desire that you say you want. So if you want 10K months, and you only need to call in two people a month, and then you see that it's not happening fast enough, or you're you're not creating you like something happens and the and the content isn't landing with people. We get to see why. We get to see why personally and deeply because I don't know why you don't have the result that you want because I'm not your coach. But when I'm in your back pocket, when I'm by your side, when I'm sharing this creation process with you, I will get to know why. I will see why. I will see a few reasons why and a few options we can take together. And I will help you to create that plan and those next steps for you. And we will walk step by step by beautiful step, clearing the gunk that's in the way. And we just get to do that together. You just get to show up for, for that. You just get to show up for that. You just get to show up for this plan. So another way that you can even have higher revenue months is say you have a group at 5K and you want 10K months. And so you have a group at 5K and you have a couple of one-to-one upgrades at say even 8K. There is no right or wrong, by the way. Like there is no perfect formula. There is no perfect pricing that you need. If you want your VIP to be double your group, then we will see why it's not (laughs) and we will make it happen. So say 8K. So you have a group at, let's just do it differently. You have a group at 3K and you have a one-to-one upgrade at 8K. So you want 10K months, that's one one one-to-one and one uh, group, 8,000 plus 3,000, do the math. So when you really think of it like that, it's like you don't have to hustle for clients. You don't have to grow your audience. Before I close, I want to speak to this. This was not planned. This is not planned, by the way. But once you have this idea in your head of I'm going to launch on this date, on this date, not even launch, I'm going to open my ceremony, open the first call to my offering on this date. Then we get to work backwards from there and have your people know that you're their go-to guide. That's the work we do in the Conscious Creative Business Immersion. And that's really beautiful. But many people get hung up on growing their audience before they have their high value offer crafted 
or refined to sell. So if you have a high value offer that's not selling to 10K months or not selling to the months that you desire, whether it's 10 or 30 or 50, then it's we get to look at the offer and craft it so it's positioned to high paying clients. Because if you want to charge 5K, 2K, 3K, 10K, 8K, the price really isn't the uh, problem. It's are you speaking to clients that do value their self-development and see, are you able to articulate the value precisely and with efficiency in your messaging? So we do all of that work together so that you don't have to guess anymore. <laughs> we get to see what could be possibly uh, leaking your energy and what could be possibly leaking your sales. And that's all really beautiful. So what hangs people up is trying to grow their offering, uh, their audience before that. So in module five, I think it is, or four, I help you to grow your audience. But if you're growing your audience for before you know the value of your offer and are articulating that in your message, then you're growing your audience with people that are probably not going to buy. So you are growing your audience, but you're not growing your revenue. And that's a bummer because then you do feel like, what is the point? <laughs> like, what am I doing here? Growing my audience. Or maybe I have a big audience, but where's the breakdown? There is a breakdown. And the size of your audience and going viral becomes less, less, less important because it will never matter to your bottom line. It will never matter to your energetic minimum of what you're capable to create in a month revenue-wise if your offer isn't selling at the price point that you want it to sell to. So this is why I love this plan of just calling into clients because if that's not, if that's not working with the audience amount that you have right now, it's not the audience. Because even with a small audience, if you have the right message and the right offer, someone's going to want it. <laughs> like somebody wants that. If you are positioning your offer in front of high paying clients, it, and here's the breakdown is you think they're not in your audience. You think that everybody in your audience is a bunch of broke asses. That's rude. <laughs> That's rude. We don't know who's watching us. To act as if we know everything is a drain on our energy as well. We truly and deeply do not know who is in our audience. We don't know who is seeing our posts. We don't know, even when we go viral, we don't know who saw that. So I am more uh, aligned with helping you have those people reach out to you, saying, how can I work with you? so that you can see what message did land with people who actually pay. So we wanna do that before we ramp up your audience growth. I have methods to ramp up your audience growth. I am going to teach you how to amplify your voice and have more people seeing your offer. But more people seeing your, an offer that isn't packaged to sell is only going to discourage you more and more and more. So let me know how this is landing with you. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news because I'm literally not. This is a clean and clear fix where you have been going around trying to solve the problem of less sales with the wrong remedy. So I am here to really be beside you, see what's happening in your business, my eyes on your business as a soul-led strategist to really under help you understand that prayer alone is not what's going to build your business to six figures. Prayer will activate this plan. Prayer and faith will have this plan working faster, but without the plan customized to you and where you're at, then you may be running your energy through someone else's plan and it's just all discouraging. And if you wanna crumple up your business and throw it in the trash, do not. I can tell you that once I started working the way that I work now, smarter and not harder, with more heart, with more focus on the delivery of my program and pouring into less people that are more of a joy to work with, 
then, oh, I love that. So those people are in your audience and you will start to gain proof of that as we work together. You'll start to see, oh, two people join me this month, exactly like I planned for my 10K month. How lovely. And we get to see why you get to actually work with them and see why and who they are. And you get to work with them and gain those testimonials and gain that confidence and see your signature process work so that you are in confidence to make that group or to sell at scale. And right now, we just want to raise your price and see where is any little leaks, whether it's the energy, whether it's mindset loops, or whether it's the strategy. Have you actually practiced the strategy long enough to say it works or not? And this is where we move into a kind of instant gratification, immature business model to CEOs with long-standing businesses that make change on a collective level for years and years and years to come. I know that this moment in time, wherever you are, if you're on an income plateau, that we will rise off that thing together. I know that. I know that the conscious creative business immersion is for you if you are good at what you do. If you are done following cookie cutter strategies that for some reason don't work for you and you want to follow your heart and you want to receive a customized plan specifically for you based on your lifestyle first, and you want to work side by side with other heart led leaders so that you don't feel alone when something comes and, uh, tries to snatch your confidence. No way. We are confident queens. We are like no bad day, no troll, no uh, low income month. No, there's no ceiling. A low income month does not mean you've met a ceiling. A low income month is a plateau. plateau. It's a jumping off point. So I help people in their income plateau, and I am going to coach and guide you through this gap that you're experiencing of maybe uh, inconsistent revenue or consistent revenue that isn't the revenue that you'd like to be making. So I'm going to pop off now because I actually do have several discovery calls booked today with folks that their answers to their questions and their application questions have just lit me up. I'm just like, wow, the caliber of humans that are choosing themselves in this moment, in this time in history is so potent. It's so profound. I know that what I do impacts the collective because I help people like you, who when you go out there and you share your message and you share your offering and you help a client, the ripple effect is felt. And we are changing the world really and deeply one person at a time. Or if you're moving into creating a group, I can help you with that. I will help you craft your group offer if you're stuck doing one-to-ones and you want to move on to that. And, um, and yeah, and we all get to do it, bring back the fun. I'm bringing sexy back. I'm bringing back fun. There is nothing less sexy than a dry, diminished, disempowered, business owner. Bringing the fun back brings the radiance back, the aliveness, the magnetism back in your business. And I know that it's not fun without a customized plan. Kelly says, yes, plan is still brewing, but excited for this gift of learning the value of being myself fully expressed. Kelly, do you want a plan today from our call? Do you want a plan where you know your next step? Because uh, what I see that happens with people is they think that the plan is having every single thing figured out. But what I want everybody listening and watching to know that you don't have to brew your plan for the next year, for the rest of the year, brewing, just sitting there brewing and brooding and wishing. You actually get to have the plan now. You get to have the plan today and decide that next year is your six figure year, and then go about figuring it out as you go. And so that's what it is like, because part of my plan and strategy is to go live every week. 
It's part of my strategy. I go live every week. I go live and I've upgraded my live skills. I've upgraded my content topic topics. But if I didn't have that plan, I wouldn't have had the ability to upgrade. You can only up-level something that's created. You can only refine something that's created. So my question for all of you out there is, do you want to do this alone anymore? Do you want to be thinking and brooding and brewing or do you want to be taking aligned action side by side, your brothers and sisters who know that next year is their six figure year, who know that, who have the plan to make it happen and don't get scared of this plan. Plans and strategies give you more time. A lot of people go, oh, I don't want to plan for it because then I have to do it. Then you're not my people. You're not, it, you must desire this. You must desire to work with less clients that are more aligned and value you. And you must desire to bring your energy online. And not online in the online world. I mean like online, like activated. Bring your energy on line with your desires, meaning that you will not have to work more for your six-figure year. But the, that thought might be the only thing that's holding you back. So I want you all to know that if you are scared of creating a bigger plan, because bigger means more work to you in your mind, then this is what we unravel because it's not true. Two clients, remember that, two clients, that's two hours of delivery a week. And that's if you have weekly calls. And when I have a 14, um, when I have a six month, mentorship available, I have three calls a month. Some of my clients do two calls a month. You get to do what you want to do, but without that plan, it, it, without that knowing that you can plan for your success, then we end up planning for our failure. We end up setting ourselves up to fail because that's what our brain knows. Our brain knows failure. Don't get it twisted. I know you know failure. There's no shame in failure. In fact, your success is built. I don't know why I'm whispering anymore because this is not a secret. Your success is built on a multitude of failures. I can't even count the amount of times I've failed, but I just know that I'm here for it. I'm here to create change in the world for people. And if I do it one person at a time or five people at a time, I know that I'm going to be coaching clients next month. That's what I know. So if you know that you want to coach clients and be paid well to do that, then let's create that plan together and own it and own our power to, to take action, to take empowered action so that we're not taking 40 hours of action, but we're efficiently taking 15, 20 hours of action in a week that actually work. So this is what I help you to do, to take 15 to 20 hours a week of work, uh, actions that work. So this is up to you. I know that I'm full time in my business. So when I think full time and I think, oh, I really get to work 20 hours a, a week. Oh, okay, great. If you're half time in your business, then simply cut that time in half. But you will know where you're moving, what you're actually engaging with in your business day to day. You will have the rituals in place so that you feel like a boss. You feel efficient. You feel like the creator of your business and your day. And your emotions get to uh, be expressed through, your, through creativity. Your emotions get to be expressed through the work of art that is your offering. So fun. And your emotions get to be expressed in your content when you write, when you share. So also help my clients go live. Um, so if you're not already going live, you get to plan that if you want to. And so the last thing I want to say is that if anything in your business or anything that I'm saying brings you up to an edge, it's not the time to collapse. 
if you feel at an edge, like I had a call with someone recently who I know would be a great fit for the conscious creative business immersion. And she left the call expressing that she felt a little tired. And what I want you to know is that that edge, that the tiredness comes from being undecided. The tiredness comes from being undecided and being wishy-washy in our price, undecided in our price, undecided in our plan, undecided to get support. Un indecision is makes you tie tie. <laughs> and so that edge, if you've decided that you're gonna come to an edge, that you're gonna upgrade your live videos, and this is what I've decided, then the edge doesn't make you tired. It gives you life because you are a person that comes to the edges supported as planned, as guided. If you're getting those internal inner compass of wisdom and guidance to go bigger, but it feels edgy, that doesn't mean that you don't do it or collapse. It means you get support so that I am here like energetically supporting you because I believe in your vision. So I'm so excited to hear Kelly's vision today. And if you haven't had the chance to share your vision with me yet, personally, I invite you to apply for the Conscious Creative Business Immersion with the link. I'll leave the link in the descriptions after this live. It's in all of the comments of my posts everywhere. So you'll be able to find it very uh, efficiently. And when you apply, you have the opportunity for a 60 minute enrollment call where you share your vision with me and you get to speak with me personally and see truly if we are a right fit to work together. We're both going to know if we're not. And if we're not, I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm going to refer you to one of my clients or someone I know that really has the skills for the desire that you want. So you know you're a right fit if you know you have skills of transformation. And you want to help as many people as you've decided on helping this year into the next. So if you've decided that you want to help two people a month, three people a month, five people a month, or one person a month, and you decided that, let's go. I'm going to help you to attract the exact amount of clients that you decided. And it's going to be so much fun. All right, folks, I have a call coming up soon, so I will let you go and I will see you so soon. Apply and I'll see you in that application and then that application call. Bye.